comes to um, work, it's a series, we have a series of activities to celebrate October, which we call Pink October. So basically how it started is, um, last year, we realized that a lot of organizations and charities were having little, little events in, to raise awareness for breast cancer. So this year, we, about 10 organizations came together and said, before we each do everything in a little corner of our own, because we decided to come together. So coming together, that's when we created the Gambia Association Cancer League. So with that, then the series of activities we have, initially we launched the Pink October on the 5th, and then today is the cancer walk, just to raise awareness and to just let people know what cancer, that cancer is curable and as long as it's prevented and there's awareness. And then on the 26th, we have a gala dinner and a fashion night, where again, it's a cultural night where we would showcase the La Excellence brand and the Ruru hair doll. And then the 1st and the 2nd November, we would have a screening program where we have a mobile clinic that's coming all the way from Dakar with oncologists and everything and then they will screen about 300 women at the Arch 22. So this is the second part of Pink October. I come here because uh, the initiative of Ajikumba and Ajinde uh, to put awareness on cancer because it affects us as women. That's why I'm here to participate, even not as a protocol, but as a woman of the Gambia, to come and make solidarity with those who are organizing this Ajikumba Dafe and Ajinde Dafe. I want to just enlighten cancer a little bit, I know. Every woman. If you wake up early in the morning, please lie up straight, check your breast. If it is paining, try to consult a doctor. The easiest party, party, party to eradicate cancer is by testing yourself and be at least aware of what is cancer. Cancer is a huge concern for a whole lot of people. Personally, I lost an aunt through breast cancer seven years ago, and um, it was a wake up call for me at that point to realize that this is actually a problem. Sadly, quite a lot of Gambians die from this all the time, and it's rather unfortunate that we do not have the medical equipment and tools to ensure that cancer patients, especially breast cancer, receive the treatment that they deserve. So this is part of the things that motivated me because this is not just a work, it's a fundraising activity as well um, to raise funds for the purchase of a mammogram machine for, for the Gambia. So I think this has been the main reason why I, I decided to join the walk out of concern for all the people that have lost their lives and people that are currently suffering from cancer um, and also realizing that the, there is a need for us to equip our medical facilities with enough equipment to support these this patients or victims.
Open up with um, Surah Fatiha and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept this um, walk and to make sure that cancer is something we fight against and to bring us together year in, year out on this fight. So we do Surah Fatiha and ask Allah to accept this walk for us. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا السرات المستقيم سرات الذين نلت عليهم قير المعدود ولا الدال نامي اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما سليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين. يا نيا نيا. So I'll just call upon the honourable minister of education, Mrs. Claudia Aiko, to lead us in prayer as a Christian man. Can we continue in prayers, please? Our Father and our God in heaven. We want to thank you for this beautiful day. Lord, we thank you also for our lives, for our health, and for strength. And Lord, this is because of those blessings that we are able to embark on this event. Lord, as we marched, as we worked, as we exchanged pleasantries, Lord, as we were happy to see each other, we thank you, Lord, and we remember those who were not able to join us this day because of the reason for which we took this work. Lord, we ask that as you bless the doctors who treat, 
you will be the healer for you are the mighty healer we also want to thank and remember in prayers those who organized this match lord lord continue to bless them continue to give them the fortitude continue to give them the innovation and the innovative minds to think of ways and means to help and support those who are suffering from this deadly disease cancer lord we also pray for those who are looking for medications day and night that lord you will give them the wisdom the knowledge and the understanding to look for the medication that would heal and cure those who suffer from disease lord as we come to the end of the march and we are gathered here lord to bring everything that we have done today to an end we ask oh lord that you will take your place among us and you will bless us and you will continue lord to keep us in good health and in strength and you will keep us lord as one people one nation to the glory of your holy name we give you thanks and praise in jesus mighty name we pray with thanksgiving amen amen thank you good afternoon First Lady Madam Fatima Tambaraba, Lady Saja, the Minister of Health, Mr. Ahmed Samate, Minister of Women's Affairs, Mrs. Ami Favre, Minister of Agriculture, Mrs. Fatu Kinte, <laughs> Minister of Agriculture, Mrs. Ami Favre, Minister of Women's Affairs, Mrs. Fatu Kinte, um, the Minister of Education, that's Mrs. Claudia A. Cole, the UNFP representative, Mr. Cole, dignitaries, and all protocols respectfully and duly observed. We say thank you very much to everybody who joined us today because this is a fight for people that have lost their lives to cancer and the people that are fighting. Um, did I invite Aji Dafe, Aji Kuma Dafe? I'm not seeing like, so one of them. <laughs> Aji Kuma Dafe, did I know who I knew about the Cancer League? Why we're doing it at Lamo Isimolo meeting. So today we're going to just give a big round of applause to the Dafe sisters to tell us about what the league is about. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a moment of silence because we have lost some. Uh, brave warriors, I took this recently, who have lost their lives. We have some brave warriors who have lost their lives uh, to, the fight, uh, to the fight of advocacy. Uh, I think one of those ladies is actually uh, Sise Sowane. I have to uh, bring that up because she's a great advocate and she's been fighting all fights and all grounds. So we want to take a moment of silence to not only uh, uh, pray for them, but also the people that have already lost their lives to cancer. So let's take a moment of silence for our departed souls. Thank you. Well, today, it's, it's an emotional moment for me. No, I'm going to cry. No, I'm going to cry. And the reason I'm going to cry because I see a lot of women, and men and women, out here today to fight this fight. It wasn't easy to set up the foundations that we've set up to fight cancer. The league was just set up not too long ago, I would say under six months ago. But associations have been in the Gambia here fighting for a long time. And when we decided to come together, because we, we know that together we can. We can't be impactful until we come together. So just six months ago, I myself personally reached out to every single association that is in the Gambia that is fighting against cancer. The idea was to be impactful, to bring us together on the one umbrella, on the one roof, on the one vision, which is to sensitize, to educate, 
to fight cancer in the Gambia and beyond. So the call wasn't easy for everybody because everybody had their own thing that they were doing. But I think if it's something is important to you, nation building is important to you. Upgrading our healthcare system, which needs a huge overhaul, is important to you. I think that we all answered the call. So hence, the Cancer Association League today. So I celebrate, and I salute, and I honor every single one of you. The Cancer Association League. To your and I want to all of you guys, we want to represent you from each Cancer Association League to come and stand here because this is affordable. Leave in a jera, Rafendula. Paski, Purma Omolo. Pungenyo, Anaya, and the one. Now, this is our fight. And we are going to fight together to kick cancer out. So, can Jerry and Jeff, it wasn't easy. And the journey is not going to be easy. But I know that together we can. So, can Jerry and Jeff, the ending of Hanni, the ending of Andabolo. The first lady of the Gambia, we know the house. The second lady of the Gambia, we know the house. And today, I introduce to you, these are the cancer warriors. These are the women in the Gambia that will advocate for cancer, that will fight for cancer. Do you need our support? We, we can sit down. Okay. 
Um, New Lindy, New York, we are very grateful for this moment. We are very grateful for all of you on a Saturday, on this blazing sun, walking with the women and the women of this country. The Cancer Association League of the Gambia. This is an umbrella of uh, a different cancer organization, 10 of them, that came together to advocate for women's health, to advocate for our health industry, to make women's health a priority, and also to help make health a priority in this country. Today, I want to honor every single member that came together to, to make this league happen. These people, in my opinion, they are the champion of this country. And if anything that we need to learn from Ngolo Moidole, this is what it is. I want the government of the Gambia to learn from these 10 groups of people, 10 charitable organizations that came together. We're in a, in a, in a crossroad in this country. And what this league has achieved is an example of what we are trying to achieve in this country for everybody to come together and fight the good fight. The good fight. The good fight and hold in solidarity to heal this nation because a nation that is not healed mentally will actually is prone to all of these cancers because stress is one of the major, major causes of cancer and so many ailments. So today, the league held to hands together in solidarity. Yen yena e jambari because dekengen lohan ne chibi reumi. Jape na pur indi ni ni chibi reumi nyu don bena nyu wah bena voice nyu bena kadu heh bena heh bi pur indi mama gani machine bi chibi reumi. The league, the Cancer League Association of the Gambia, uh, we are mandated to come together to advocate uh, to our government to take women's health, to take our health and make it a priority in this country. This league is also asking for a comprehensive cancer plan in this country because our facilities need to be upgraded. We need a cancer facility here in the Gambia. Too many women are dying unnecessarily. The reason why this league starts to strengthen, the reason why we all stood to strengthen, uh, we started this, well, some of these organizations started and they moved to Senegal and they were in Senegal. And today I want to take the opportunity in gratitude and appreciation to our champions in Senegal, the Senegalese doctors that have really championed this fight for us. Because as a member, as a co-member, as a co-founder of AWAKA, African Women Against Cancer, we establish here in the Gambia, but Lord and behold, God always does what is right. We end up in Senegal, and we were part of the Senegal Cancer League. And all the, uh, the patients that came from the Gambia, Senegalese most of the time by these people come they are on the fourth stage of cancer they are in the fourth case uh, case of cancer and these women all die all of these women that had cancer from the gambia when they went to senegal and the league saw them they all died because early detection is key and that is why the league is standing together to say we need a mammogram machine in this country. We need an ultrasound machine in this country. We need a radiation machine in this country. Why not the Gambia? If all our neighboring countries have a machine, and I'm telling the women of this country, you have not fought the good fight. You have not fought the good fight for so many years, your sisters, Today, there are so many women, there's statistics for every eight women, one of them 
will have breast cancer. Those are the statistics, and those are the international statistics. So, Tay, so you talk a fee. And then you get your hand, you need to talk to you. How many of you come? The man who is a man, the man who is a man, the man who is a man, the man who is a In other countries, the success rate is 99%. For every 100 women today that have cancer, 99 do not wear. 99 So why are the women of this country not fighting the good fight? And this is the reason why it is very, very important for all of us to stand in solidarity just because you can afford to get treated. There are so many your sisters and brothers that cannot afford it. To get a mammogram, to get tested for mammogram. Mammogram is a routine test. Every year, if you are 35 years old, you need to get tested. You know, last year we went across the country. I went to communities that I don't even know existed. I am walking in these rooms, women wasting, wasting. I am talking about really, it's just beyond, beyond imagination. And they are all being left to die. This is not hearsay. This is something we have seen. So here, if you think that cancer, cancer doesn't discriminate. And this is why the league is saying that. The radiation machine, the ultrasound machine, the mammogram machine, which is a routine test if you're 35 years old, needs to be in this country. League, this league, we will also organize, mobilize, people and mobilize funds yes mobilize funds to be able to create, uh, get cancer care they could be year man de bina bari cancer bi ñu bari ñu ko am sen mbokk yi nekku ñu di len taxaw buñ ko amé dañuy wait wait ay bobu du cancer bi mo len di ray wait ay so li bi li yeb bu gëna ko def indi everybody together cancer care and also to be able early detection it is key for cancer. So today, we want to take this opportunity to thank every single one of you for coming today and also our subsequent event. At Tamala, we are actually having a, uh, a dinner gala fundraiser. We're inviting all of you and your organizations to buy a table on the 26th of October. And also, the event of all mega events, we want to take thank our Senegalese counterpart. We are bringing the mammogram machine from Senegal. Then quote, then quote, then quote Jilly from Senegal. Dawal Kobe Gambia. In the coffee at Ash 22nd. The second and the third. Jigen, Dr. Sijoge Senegal. Dine and there are seven doctors. They are all oncologists. Dine know the name of biopsies, name of tests for cervical cancer. Dine also in the mammogram machine. Pun you check Jigen. Because your task is not, your job is very, very difficult because you're working under very, very difficult circumstances. So we thank you uh, uh, for this. And also in collaboration with the Senegalese Hospital, Hospital Dante, and the testing will be done the second and the third. And the league did all that. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Jerry Grace, I did okay. Thank you very much. And I would just like to um, call out the league members because collectively, Bolo Moidole, 10 different organizations came together and said, let's come together and do this. So I would say a big thank you to Young Gun and Mom's Fund, which is YGMS. Chairperson, Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic, Madam Fatou Barbaro, High Excellency, Lady Sajum Barrow Barrow, Colleague Ministers here present, the UNFPA country representative, members of the Cancer Association League of the Gambia, uh, health personnel here present, cancer survivors and victims, members of all cancer organizations, media fraternity, women of the Gambia, 
distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is indeed a great pleasure for me, on behalf of the Ministry of Health, to be associated with this great cancer work, marking the Breast Cancer Month. The Gambia joins the world in commemorating Breast Cancer, the breast cancer Month. I'm indeed very glad that such eminent personalities are all present to lend a hand to this important awareness campaign. We are delighted that the different groups have joined their efforts together to attack a common problem, breast cancer. This is exemplary and needs to be emulated in other sectors. This effort to fight cancers in the Gambia is a noble effort and is highly commended by the government of the Gambia and the Ministry of Health in particular. There are about 1.38 million new cases and over 450,000 deaths from breast cancer worldwide each year. Breast cancer is by far the most common cancer in women worldwide, both in the developed and the developing countries. In the Gambia, cervical cancer is the commonest cancer. In the last five years, cervical cancer was followed by liver cancer and then breast cancer, which is the third commonest cancer among females in this country. There is a steady rise of cancer, breast cancer, and it has now displaced liver cancer to be the second most common cancer in the Gambia. The incidence of breast cancer has been rising steadily in the last few years due to an increase in life expectancy, increased urbanization, and adoption of Western lifestyles. Currently, we all know that there is insufficient knowledge on the causes of breast cancer, per se. We have all known about quite a number of etiological factors. However, the exact cause of breast cancer cannot be pinpointed as we speak. We have survivors of breast cancer amongst us here who have now dedicated their efforts towards ensuring that we prevent delay presentation within the population. We are grateful to them and all their and all other supporting uh, uh, agencies who have come together to ensure that there is increased awareness and the disease is detected early for appropriate treatment. The WHO promotes comprehensive breast cancer control programs as part of national cancer control plans. The recommended early detection strategies for low and middle income countries uh, awareness of early signs and symptoms, Click screening by breast examination, especially clinical breast examination. Mammography screening is very, very important, as has been mentioned earlier. However, cell breast examination still has a role to play in the early detection of breast cancer. We should not forget it completely. Each month, each woman should palpate the breast or any possible lumps. We should never neglect it. Cell breast examination, we still advocate for that. Mammography screening, as has been mentioned, is very, very important. And we are happy that the efforts of the Cancer League are geared towards the acquisition of a new mammography machine for that purpose. But we are equally happy to announce here that due to the personal a personal intervention and advocacy and commitment of His Excellency the President of the Republic, Mr. Adam Abaro. We, we have received a brand new mammography machine at the Edward Francis Morton Hospital this week. So certainly we tell the Cancer League, your, 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 your people are listening to you. People are listening to the women of this country. The government certainly is listening. So if the Cancer League, when the Cancer League brings another one, we make sure that there is coverage throughout the whole country because the Gambia does not stop at Banjo. I cannot conclude my statement without thanking the eminent personality here present for their support to the Minister of Health, especially the First Lady. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
ang ang manalosayo. Who have complemented our efforts in many areas in the health sector. We are certainly very, very grateful to the organizers of this major and all their partners for the continuous effort in this battle. We are in this together with our common fight. With these few remarks, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you all for gracing this occasion and I look forward to your continued collaboration and partnership. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Samate, and we would like to applaud the government for actually procuring a mammogram machine, so we're saying thank you very much. But we know one is not enough, we're talking about the whole country, so the least, um, as we said at the beginning, the aim and our objective is to get one, so we would definitely keep fighting and keep working towards that goal. So once again, um, as, and then you guys have heard Dr. Samate mention that one is not enough, so Again, we will keep our fight, keep pushing to procure another one. We can extend the usage outside of just Greater Banjo. And but then, just as he's mentioned, we're selling cards, T-shirts, and mugs um, by the Treasure Water Woman on that side. And every proceed will go towards getting the monogram machine. I just see the guy, who is a cancer survivor, and she would give us a little breakdown about her journey from when she knew she had cancer and how she's been living with it until now she's free from cancer 100%. So, Makuga, you get to Ida, Mom, Lee, Dalnoko, Kedina Lunawa, Nakala Mel, Kuga Dula, Kevari, Breast Cancer. Assalamu alaikum. Nayende, Yen Bala knew the Hamlan and Ajitangana, Yen Munyal knew two today. I want to say thank you so much to everybody, but I want to first thank this beautiful, beautiful lady. Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, lady. Lady Sayo, how are you? Dr. Samate, I am greeting the Minister of Women Affairs. I am greeting everybody who is here today. This thing has been a long time coming. A really long time. Okay. I am happy. I am extremely, extremely happy. Tell them a content. Because Lee, Lo Hamnella, Yaga Nendi ko hair, Yaga Nendi hair ni. Man, suma batula kansa kumase six years ago le. Why? For man, hair bi yala hamne ni dunda na ako why? Hair bi ma hair ni for man. For suma mboka ile kafi. Parce que dem na be Senegal gis len ñuy dem fofu di fali te suñ deme ñu kenn rek ño fa dene ka so this fight is not for me i want them to be in their country ñu nek ci seen bir de ka di fali ñu nek fi seen mbokk yi wor len mo gën ñuy dem fenen di dem be Senegal de ga la seer na top ñuy dem be fofu di fali te man gom na ni lima gis fi tay ma gestu di xol ku neka gom na ni dina am Fi cancer center bi fi sohla dinañ ko am bu soobe yalla parce que xamna ñaari dilen ñi duñu bayyi ñu seeta ba xamna ni xamna ni dox ko sama té ñu tok ñu seeta dox ko sama té dox ko ne bu suma gisé dafa dewax ne you again parce que dafa sona ci man but it's for a reason lig bi nak awma dara lu ma len wax ñu jëri jëf parce que topa ngeen continue ngeen di xeex ñu ñepp ñu ngi xeex why the reason why we're fighting is not for us pour ñeneen ak ñeneen ak ñeneen ñi nga xamne am nañ ko di xeex ñi nga xamne xamuñ ne am nañ ko ak suñu doom suma wax nak du bari parce que tay for the past year mangi ut another survivor ku wara ñew taxaw fi di wax man thankfully tay amna kenen ku ñew ku taxaw fi ak man fana du ñom ñaar mu xamu ñom ñetal so mangi leni ko the two survivors are here i don't even know them by name but i want them to come here with me and here she comes We have another gentleman too that is here. Yes, sir. A lot of people don't understand. They think breast cancer, but this is not just breast cancer, it's cancer in general. Yes, it's pink October, and we're fighting for breast cancer, which is for women, but this also affects men. So 
So I'm going to pass the mic on to my fellow warriors. So they, you meet up with There's one more. There's one more. There's one more. She's actually a patient. She's actually suffering. Uh, There's a patient. Okay. And I thought to myself, you know what? Let my doctor, my doctor give me a checkup. My doctor gives me a checkup and he says, hey, your PSA is very high. Cancer, prostate. And that's when my journey starts. I'm still on the journey. I had radiotherapy in 2013. I thought I was happy in 2016. And then they say, hey, you have problems. Again. But there's something I want my brothers to understand. How many men are here? Let me see. Men stand up. I will do a little exercise. Men stand up. Come on. I'll do a little exercise. All right. The ones over 40, stand up. The younger ones, sit down. The younger ones, sit down. Right, oh. Amongst the men, who have had a PSA done? No Doctor, you got a PSA? What's your PSA? You don't know your PSA. Doctor Ja, you have one. Excellent. Each PSA is 600 dollars But with that PSA, it can tell us if we are on the journey. If we have, you can sit down. Sorry, yeah. If you had a brother, if you had a brother, and that brother passed on. Why did he pass on? We need to know. My sister here is a survivor. I will say I'm a survivor. You are. But I'm on the treatment. Yes. And each treatment is... Okay. You're on a journey, sister. She's fighting. I started in 2016, 2012. I'm still here. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much. And this can happen to any one of us. Cancer does not discriminate. It's not even about cancer. Fever does not discriminate. This can happen to any one of us. And I have said that we are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. Stand up here and give us her story. She'll be a survivor. We will not let her fight on her own. We will all fight with her together. Because now I'm clever. I'm you not jumping. I'm you not dollars. It helps in the healing process. So we're telling you, you're not alone. We're all we're all in this together. Then all of my dollars are together. Then no jumping. Couldn't make a little moon back. Then I'm gonna inshallah you will come. The narrative will change and you will explain your story. And um, we'll just call on the minister of women. Thank you very much, the chairperson of the occasion, the first lady, Madame Pantubal Baro.
associations against cancer, the back in the gulf, all the women who are present here, the media, our main supporters, I look at she, all protocols respectfully and duly observed. I want to thank very much the organizers for coming up with this initiative. Yes, cancer is a deadly disease, but it can be cured when detected early. This will require a little awareness creation so that women can for, come forward for testing and then those who are positive will be referred to cure. We promote women and women's advancement. For the real advancement of women if they fall sick and die all the time. We can only achieve the economic empowerment of women if women are healthy. A sick person cannot attend a training program. A sick person cannot attend a program on empowerment. So this means um, one has to be sick. So one has to be well before you can attend any program. Health is very important. Without health, there can be any development. And since cancer is a health risk to women, I want to ask all women to join the fight against cancer. We are all part of the fight. We are all joining the fight today, and we are going to continue fighting until we are able to eliminate cancer from the surface of the Gambia and from the surface of the earth. My office and the foundation in 
my office and my foundation in the fight against breast cancer and, um, and raising awareness. October is marked as Breast Cancer Awareness Month when people wear pink ribbons to express their support for all those suffering from breast cancer worldwide. We will all know that no individual or a single person can tackle this fight, the burden of cancer. I would like to commend and applaud all members of the Cancer Association League, the Gambia, for coming together to speak and work with one voice. I wish to assure you my support as we are all in this together. Mbolo my darling. Cancer is a growing problem and it is one of the leading causes of death in Africa. In the Gambia, breast and cervical cancer are the leading causes of death among women. Each year, about 14.1 million new cases of cancer occur globally. And in 2017, cancer caused about 8.2 million deaths. More than 60% of the world's total new annual cases occur in Africa, Asia, Central and South Africa, America. And these regions recount for 70% of the world cancer deaths. Cancer facility can be reduced and controlled by implementing evidence based on statistics for its prevention, early detection, raising awareness and managing, management of patients. Many cancers have a high chance of cure if detected early and treated adequately. Sadly, all of our cancer patients seek medical assistance often too late when the disease has already reached an advanced stage, whereby making it difficult to cure. Can breast cancer is curable disease once detected early. However, with the lack of awareness and existence of opportunities to equally tackle the disease effectively, most, be the, the most of the cancer patients die. The narrative must change. Together with the Minister of Health, my office in engaging positive with various stakeholders, such as religion, traditional and community leaders, civil societies, organizations, private sectors, and the media to raise cancer awareness, prevention, and treatment program in the Gambia. Furthermore, we have partnered with the Cancer League Association, the Gambia, to bring the much needed mammography machine and make it accessible to all Gambians. We will also pursue tirelessly to engage and work with the World Health Organization and health organization that affordable cancer treatment in the Gambia. I would like to thank you all for coming in large numbers to work with us. Like my husband, His Excellency Adam Abaro, many of you are determined to support. The organizers, my office and the Ministry of Health in this common objective to find to fight against cancer and for this I am grateful to you all. Thank you very much.